Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good everything. Uh, whatever time it is you're watching this video, and welcome to my uh, playthrough of Sonic Lost World. I uh, I had no idea what I wanted to play. This is gonna play a trailer. I don't want to play the trailer. Thank you. Um, welcome to Sonic Lost World. I have I had like I was looking through my Steam library, through my everything library, and I was like, I want to do a playthrough. I'm like, what should I play? And I'm like, I. <laughs> It's like, I have nothing else, literally. <laughs> I was thinking of doing a Crash Bandicoot sort of uh, playthrough, maybe 1, 2, or 3 on the Insane Trilogy, since I do not have 4. Uh, I do not own a PS4. Um, and I've already played a bit of Sonic Lost World, but I'm just gonna play, press new game. Uh, I've also turned down, turned off the music just for the menu. I'm gonna re-enable it once we get to into a, a stage, because I wanted to, you know, do an intro. And, uh... Uh, I like didn't want the uh, the uh, can I press pause? Thank you. Uh, I don't want I didn't want the music to kind of ruin the intro. So sound. My God, that's loud. Okay. So when you enter the sound settings, th everything goes up. Of up. What the heck? All right then. So uh, yeah. Um, let's go. This is the PC version, uh, of course. As I said, my uh, Steam library. <laughs> And uh, we're not gonna be doing anything fancy, we're just gonna be playing through the stages. This is a pretty short game, sort of. Um, but I think it's fine. I can get up through here. Where was the point where I could get up? Can I get up through here? Okay. okay. So, uh, yeah. We're just gonna be playing uh, Sonic Lost World. This game is... Uh, I'm fine with it, you know, it's pretty harmless in its, like, story and such. Um, in terms of gameplay, I think it's fine, actually. It's not very gimmicky, you know, many people were like, why the heck was the uh, boost formula uh, scrapped for this game when Generations did uh, very well, but... I don't give a damn. Uh, the, the level design is definitely the thing that... Um, takes away from it, the experience, that's for sure. I uh, I also do not like how they did this uh, half... Uh, it's called a half, uh, half pipe. And uh, yeah, it's a... Uh, it's not very, like, enjoyable. If it was, like, more normal, like the <laughs> every other single... Uh, Sonic game. I, I would have liked the uh, sort of like uh, control scheme. I'm, I'm fine with the uh, the sort of run button that they uh, they have. And uh, yeah, welcome to one of my first playthroughs. Actually, it's not my first playthrough in this channel because holy shit, have I made so many playthroughs only to not upload them because something went wrong in the recording process. Something that I like wasn't expecting or didn't have any uh, control over it because um, like um, like I would do a test run record not a not a whole lot but at least I would record like a minute plus to be sure that uh, audio levels are okay you know the game records fine and uh, even file size you know is okay and such and that test would be okay and after a while that I like go through the files to check that again everything's okay after I've finished doing uh, the whole playthrough of whatever game it was I would find myself um, uh, seeing that many things are broken and uh, yeah that, that was extremely annoying to have like hours upon hours of footage scrapped into the bin completely because something went wrong like midway through or something. I'm also skipping every cutscene. I guess you can say this is this is a sort of a spoil spoiler free um, uh, playthrough, but I just there's no reason to watch these cutscenes again. The story in this game is trash. It's not that great. So, hey, I 
shouldn't have done this. Because, um... <sighs> yes, thank you. Um, like, Omocho gives you, like, some missions. I shouldn't have done that because every time you finish a stage and a mission, it takes, like, so long to, like... For it to, to finish telling you that, hey, you finished the mission. No joke. Okay. I have played a bit of Lost World before. Um, I played the 3DS version. And I would suggest that you do not do that. <laughs> it is greatly painful and, uh, let's say, dull. I'm also not going for all the red rings. You see me, like, picking up some? That's just, you know, me. Please do not, like, uh... Do not, like, uh... I don't know why not, I do not know what the heck I'm saying, no joke. I wanted to say that I'm not gonna go for the red rings because they are just too much of a pain and this isn't a 100% uh, a, a sort of file or playthrough. Because it doesn't need to be. We're just here to have some fun playing Lost World, that's all. And uh, we can definitely have some fun playing Lost World. Again, I think that the game is fine. You know, you may need to get a bit used to the control scheme and uh, the control mapping and the uh, PC version isn't the best. The way they have the, the spin dash and the run on the two triggers. I mean, the run... The run on the triggers is fine, but the spin dash on like one of the triggers... Eh. God damn it, I always miscounted. I think he's just gonna like dash at me immediately, but no, and I lost my rings. Also, do that to, like, hit him a lot of times. There we go. Yeah, but I, I do not want to hit him. It's this problem with the homing attack. Uh, this game has a big problem with the homing attack, actually. And, uh, it's, it's quite painful. Also, let me go and set a uh, not a timer give me a stopwatch okay there we go okay i mean i mean i am a bit late on that stopwatch should have started it a bit earlier um but i sort of want to keep like um let's see let's see how long it's gonna take for us to like get to the next level because of these missions yes thank you i'm pressing like a to like i'm pressing like skip come on please yes thank you thank you come on Come on. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. All right. Finally. Finally. Now I can move. Like. <sighs> okay. So no time. I would like to like see the time trial to sort of like get a, a bit on time. But I'm I'm just trying to like keep things on like a twenty to twenty three I guess minute because it's a playthrough. I think like. Okay then. Like see the homing attack is very like inconsistent. But as I said, I want to keep this like. 20 minutes, I think it's fine for a playthrough thingy and Lost World is very, again, short, so... So, um, you know, I don't want to have, like, an infinite amount of parts. I think I should keep the laser for a bit, because there's a, uh, a laser thing a bit up ahead. But I'm just trying to play, kind of like trying to have some sort of momentum but the spin dash in this game is like a bit fucked there we go like you're trying to have some sort of like speed in this game but it's uh, it won't let you also i think i should do this there we go hey red ring hey hey there we go so uh oh there was already a laser here well why don't we Once more. Alright then. So, as I was saying, I think that 20 minutes is, you know, the perfect, like, time for a, uh, a playthrough of any kind. The perfect uh, length for a video. And depending on the game, you're gonna have, like, a variety of uh, number of parts. Uh, if I was playing something else, I may have, like, made like uh you know maybe cut the game uh, you know maybe a bit of editing if 
something was like too repetitive, but you know, I'm just playing Sonic Lost World. It's nothing like that. If I was playing something like an RPG, uh, maybe Persona, I, uh, I I have actually bought Golden uh, for Golden on the uh, PC because actually f <laughs> first uh, day buy because I I like the series and I would like to finally play Golden because I have never played it. Nor have I played 5. Because I may have a PS3, I don't have a PS4, and people say do not play, the, play it on the PS3 because it's a, a, a sort of a bad version. So I was thinking of like, maybe buying a PS4 to uh, uh, play some, diff some games that are only there. Uh, mostly, again, Persona. Uh, Royal is also out, and we and there is also Crash 4. I would have loved to play Crash 4. Hmm. I uh, can't think of anything else really though, and that's why I've been like holding back on the purchase because many ga many of my games are available on the PC. So. And yeah, the, the, I, I mean, I'm not also a fan of consoles that much. I bought a Switch, which I've made a video on. Uh, it's on. It's uh, it's in Greek. You won't understand stuff unless you know, yeah, of course, Greek. Um, where I talk about how I uh, I, I went for like uh, ads and stuff. You know, sold things uh, myself and bought stuff. You know, my first experience with that, and uh, I managed to get a Switch for a very good price, but I bought some games on the Switch. I also bought like Smash, because I was like, oh, maybe I'll, you know, I'll get some friends, play some Smash. I mean, it's like one of the uh, most well-known um, fighting games and such. There's a lot of characters. You no, know, I would doubt that, you know, uh, there won't be many people to play with. And guess what? <laughs> I found literally no one. You know, I bought like single player games as well. I bought like Breath of the Wild. Played a bit. Then it was like. Yeah, this is cool. But I could also be playing it on my PC. <laughs> through Simu, the emulator. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I decided, you know, if I, if I have that chance, then why keep the Switch? Um, I bought, uh, because I didn't have a PS4 as I said, and I don't have a PS4, I, uh, I played the remake of uh, uh, Crash Team Racing, Nitro Fueled, I played it on uh, the Switch, had fun, as much fun as I could, really, and, uh, and was bored after, because, uh, you know, the meat of those games is of course online, but uh, I just didn't... I, I don't have really the, the money to be uh, paying for an online subscription, which was very bad. I mean, uh, if the Switch had free online multiplayer at least, yeah, that would have been an easy win. And also, like, there were games coming out on the Switch, but because of the steep price, like 60 bucks, which is the thing with uh, all consoles, of course, but you know, another like. On other consoles, you may find some deals. You know, possibly. While well, Nintendo and their first party stuff isn't the best when it comes. And I just fell down. Yeah, like, they don't do the best in, when it comes to, again, sales on uh, major titles. So, like, I, I just didn't have the, uh, the money to buy new games and such. So I was like, yeah, fuck it. Sell the console. Get stuff on my PC possibly, and uh, I think if I'm correct, mm, I think uh, I'm trying to like sort of like get through my head on what I did with the money that I got from my Switch because I I sold it for a very really good price. So what did I do? I can remember quite clearly. I'm trying to like oh god oh god the slowdown. Oh, okay then. Yep, nice. I try to be sort of fancy and use the spin dash, but the spin dash is like really bad. And 
this game. And I think we're gonna get to a boss in a bit. Well, now he's gonna hunt us. Like the, uh, uh, this uh, sort of like Looney Tunes sort of section, cartoon section, when you know, like someone is chasing someone else and then they enter a bush and wow, the, the roles have reversed and like a. Hit. Let's gonna jump to the other side, and that's it. I like how people said like the wisps in Sonic Colors made the bosses easy. Here you don't need, even need the wisps. You just you just bonk them with the homing attack. Skip. I just want to end the game, please. <laughs> yeah, I I seriously do not remember what I did with the money for the that I got from the Switch. Because I didn't use it, I think, to uh, get myself a new monitor. These are my ears. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't use it for my monitor. What was it that I did with the uh, my money? I think I just kept it and like used it as normal money. I didn't. I I maybe bought some games. Because at that time, that was like June of this year or something, June or July, and uh, yeah, I think I mostly just bought games. I definitely bought, like as I said, Persona 4 Golden on, on Steam, and uh, that's it, I think. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay then. Yeah. So I basically got nothing out of it. <laughs> Cause yeah, I, like I liked my Switch, I liked its portability and such. Um, but like there weren't any games that really drew me. Some might say like Mario Odyssey and such, but I just, I, I just didn't like those sort of games. Yeah, believe it or not. I, uh, I just wasn't like had much invested in Mario to really want to buy Odyssey which was again 60, 70 like bucks. So So yeah there wasn't something to really draw me to the to my switch. I got out. Nice. This stage is actually pretty big. It like it has like so many sections. Oh, we can use the evil here. Thankfully, the uh, PC version has a much better controlling Deagle. Hey, Deagle? Deagle? <laughs> I'm not playing CSGO, I'm playing Sonic Lost World. Eagle. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> nice. Oh no, I don't wanna. I don't wanna go on this. No, don't hit me. Uh -huh. Close enough. Although I definitely oh fuck off. I definitely can say that I like the music in Lost World. Uh, there are some really good tracks in the, the game. Ow. I hate this thing. You can't like outrun it. You need to kill it, but you can uh, it's possible to hit like the the fire surrounding you. That's annoying. But yeah, I, I like the uh, the music. Some tracks definitely enjoyable. Um, my favorites will have to be, um, uh, let me think, uh, Frozen Factory. I like all of Frozen Factory. And I think like in a sort of like winter setting, like it fits really well. Uh, I remember like, uh, you know, watching the snow fall outside and uh, listening to like Frozen Factory soundtrack and it, it was really fitting. So, like, that's why it's, it has stuck to me, as the, uh, the, the completely winter theme, like, uh... Oh, I don't wanna get eaten by that. Can you please jump? Normally? Okay, let's jump, jump, jump. Alright then. And, uh, Frozen Factory and the other one might have to, has to be, uh, Silent Forest. Oh, 
Act 1 of Silent Forest I absolutely love actually. Has some really nice stuff. It's gonna come up. Oh! I made it. Oof. This double jumping isn't the best, gotta say that. up there. Oh yeah, this... Ooh! <laughs> Close one. Uh, should I take this one? Yes, I should. I think the thing is up here. Nice. I think it's up here, right? Yep, there we go. It materialized into a red ring, so we're good. So why... Why didn't he attack me when I was in front of him? What? That was weird. Okay, let's go and get the capsule. Nice! That was a good run, that was a good run, definitely. Let's see where we are in time. Okay then. I think that this should be good. We're like, what, 16 minutes, 17 maybe, in? You know, start, just started with uh, Desert Ruins. And uh, next up is one of my favorite stages, Honeycomb Highway is the uh, the normal name or the uh, um, the OST's name. Again, uh, also one of my favorite tracks, definitely cool track. So, you know, this is gonna do it for Sonic Lost World Part 1. I mean, I think we're like, we're gonna end this like four or five parts max, it's not, again, not a big uh, game and um, it's, it's just not a big game, we're not going for 100% because it's very tedious actually to get 100% in this game, so I'll see you on the next uh, part.